Indy Pharma is a unique cannabis company in that the company not only grows its plants, but it also is working with synthetic cannabinoids. Joining me now is CEO Dr. Raza Bakhari. This is unique because so many companies, when they work with the cannabis plant, will often say that the synthetics don't have the same effectiveness as the natural plant. But your company is getting involved in both sides of this. So explain this to me because I'm very curious about that. Well, thank you, number one, Deborah, for having me on your program. Uh, uh, we clearly are, a, as our core business, is to grow medicinal grade uh, cannabis. However, in modern day uh, uh, FDA approved processes, every drug is synthesized or biosynthesized in a lab. This is a, a, a myth that uh, synthetic uh, drugs or products are not effective, but generally speaking, the uh, medicinal grade cannabis uh, 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 grow that we do is in the illnesses and disease condition that the strains are, uh, are, are treating are important. Uh, not just us, but many other competitors that we have are actually filling a void in this expanding marketplace, which I believe by year 2025 is going to be a $150 billion market size uh, across the world, uh, outside the United States. Uh, we will uplist, uh, we took uh, the vote, uh, and we will hopefully become the 10th uh, company uh, to be on a major U.S. exchange, so we're very excited about that opportunity. Uh, our uh, company is domiciled in outside Toronto, in Coburg, which is a feel-good town. However, we are assembling our biosciences division and the team and the leadership uh, from greater Philadelphia area. Um, in a lot of the states that start out with uh, legalization of medical marijuana, when they switch to having recreational adult use, we see that the patient licenses drop, that it seems like some of the business drops uh, for the medical marijuana. It, you know, how are you going to be able to address that if you're so focused on medical marijuana? I think that there is in every industry, there is certain level of cannibalization of, uh, of illicit use, and it comes with the territory. Uh, I don't think so. We must account for as as uh, seasoned uh, uh, business operators, we have to account for uh, these kind of uh, 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 challenges that we face. But in the face of these challenges, also our opportunities. Uh, this is, uh, in a recreational user, uh, is not really looking for a indoor hydroponic uh, uh, high yield uh, grow uh, uh, product. Uh, which is uh, rather expensive. Uh, they will always uh, uh, look for a cheaper uh, and the most inexpensive alternative. Uh, so I think there is uh, not the market uh, that we uh, really, in any case, are losing to begin with. Uh, but however, uh, these are an essential challenge of any uh, of this industry as it will be in other industries. Great. Well, we will keep our eye out on FSD Pharma. It sounds like you have a lot of news that's going to be coming out soon. That's Dr. Reza Bakhari, and I'm Deborah Porchart with the Green Market Report.